JP Morgan Chase on Thursday said several executives considered frontrunners to one day take over for CEO Jamie Dimon had new or expanded roles. Jennifer Peepshik, co-head of JP Morgan's giant consumer bank, will now become co-head of the firm's commercial and investment bank along with Troy Rohrbau, a veteran leader of the bank's trading operations. Peepishak's former partner, Marianne Lake, will transition from consumer banking co-head to being its sole CEO, JP Morgan said. The business includes some of the country's largest operations in retail banking, credit cards and small business lending. The moves should give Peepshik and Lake more experience as the long-running succession race atop the nation's largest bank drags on. When they were made co-heads of consumer banking in 2021, Peepshik and Lake were considered favorites to eventually succeed Diamond, who is now 67 years old. That year, the bank's board gave Diamond a special bonus to retain his services for a significant number of years. It wasn't clear if there is a frontrunner for the job after the latest set of changes, or if Diamond intends to leave anytime soon. The running joke within JP Morgan is that for Diamond, considered the top banker of his generation, retirement is always five years away. Over the years, several of his deputies have moved on to lead other organizations after losing patience that the top job would ever become available. Rohrbau and Global Payments Chief Takis Georgiakopoulos round out the short list of potential successors along with Lake and Peepshik, who have both served as CFO before their current assignments, said a person with knowledge of the bank's planning. As part of the changes, the bank's new commercial and investment bank run by Peepshik and Rohrbau now includes operations that had been a separate division run by Doug Petno and Daniel Pinto who had been CEO of the corporate and investment bank for a decade, relinquishes that title while remaining the bank's president and chief operating officer.